my name is Yolanda, and this is Eatin' and Sippin' Locally. This show is podcast in Austin, Texas. It is Saturday, and I'm at the Sunset Valley Farmer's Market on uh, Highway 290, just off of 290, actually, uh, in Austin, Texas. And I'm going to go check out some of the farmers. This is a great farmer's market. It is not very large. It is a small one, but it is jam-packed with a lot of great farmers and uh, vendors. So I'm going to go in and uh, walk around like I always do. That's one of the first things I do is walk around and check out the scenery. And I'm going to go talk to the farmers and see if they can give us one good tip when shopping at the farmer's market. So, uh, let's go. All right. Uh, my name is Aiden Costell. I'm the son of the owner of Esperanza Farms. Um, we specialize in living lettuce that lasts for three weeks. It's practically magic. We don't really have any uh, social media presence, but our website is esperanzafarms.com. We are at the Sunset Valley and Lakeline Farmers Markets on Saturday and the Mueller Farmers Market on Sunday. One tip that people should know when they go shopping at farmers markets is uh, definitely bring small bills because, you know, bringing big bills can be kind of a pain to the uh, the vendors. Um, so my name is Aiden Costell and you're listening to Eden and Sippin' Locally. Hello, my product is River Ranch Raw Pet Food, and I sell it at the Sunset Valley Farmer's Market every Saturday. It is a raw product that you feed to your dog um, instead of a kibble, which is what the dogs need because they are actually 0.002% away from the wolf's DNA. So wolves are carnivores, and which dogs are also. Um, When you come to the farmer's market, I think it's important to leave some time to educate yourself on these products that the farmers and local businesses are trying to sell um, just because the large Amazons and everything are taking over and us small companies need to stay in business. Hello everyone, this is episode 8 of Eatin' and Sippin' Locally. Now you have just heard two great tips from two great farmers at the Sunset Valley Farmers Market. Now last month, I shared my tips on how to shop at the farmer's market. Well this month, I went out and I asked the farmers and the vendors to share one of their own tips with us so we could be smarter consumers when it comes to shopping at the market. Now the first tip was really good. Bring small bills. Now my brain must be twisted because I always take large pills. I never even thought about the farmers not having enough money to give back change. Now, did you know you can quickly wipe out a farmer's bank with a $50 bill? Think about it. Where are they going to get change, especially if you're spending under $20 and you hand them this large bill? It's very hard for them to look at their farmer next door and ask them for change because they're trying to keep their money for their customers. So a good tip is to bring singles, as if you were going to a garage sale. A bad tip would be to try and bargain with them as if you were at a garage sale. Please don't do that. They work very hard to bring you the best products every week. Now the second tip, make time to chat with the farmers and learn about their products. Now by doing this, you have a greater understanding of why they're so passionate about what they sell. And boy... I have learned a lot about the food that I'm eating. I've learned about a lot of great products that I can use to make my skin look better. And I am so excited to share this knowledge with you because I have really taken the time to listen to the farmers. So are you ready to hear more tips? Me too. So let's go back to the market and we'll talk a little bit more later. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome on a Saturday morning here at SFC Farmer's Market here in Sunset Valley. Finally, the sun is coming out. Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Mary. And we're selling CBD Honey by Be Delightful USA. You can find us on Instagram at Be Delightful USA. So um, we're at the uh, Sunset Valley Farmer's Market this morning. 
one tip that I have for people going to the farmer's market is just to be prepared to have conversations about what people are selling and don't be afraid to um, ask questions for people because I know when we're selling CBD honey like a big part of what we're doing is just kind of like educating people on what CBD is and how to use it because I think it's really important for people to actually learn something even if they're not going to buy the product it's still beneficial to just like talk about it. I'm Mary, and you're listening to Eden and Sipping Locally. My one tip is to make a list before you go to the farmer's market um, so then you don't feel overwhelmed when you get here. Um, And just, like, think about what you need at home besides just food, like soaps and um, cleaning products as well. So what is one of your favorite um, vendors here that you shop at? Um, I really like getting vegetables from Johnson's Backyard Garden. And I also always love the tacos from Taco Deli. I'm a really big fan of Texas Coffee Traders. She has so many flavors and she's so lovely and everyone should check her out. When you come to the farmer's market, you can look for people that acknowledge your presence and are really friendly with you. Um, Check out their products. I'm sure they're really good. My name is Wee Alex Canetti. A lot of people call me Wee. It's easier. I'm originally from Venezuela. Um, my product that I sell in the farmer's market is uh, polymer clay jewelry. Some pictures, some painted. Everything is handmade and it's made out of, made out of love. <laughs> my favorite ones to make our food. I make donut earrings and Waffle earrings, fruit earrings, everything that you would love to eat. So I was actually a cook and I have passion for food. I like the way it tastes, the way it looks and also the way that makes you remember and share memories. People can find me in Instagram. My account is dreamdrop underscore clay. You can find a lot of my work posted in there. Thank you, Wee. I am so glad I met you. Now, I stopped at Wee's booth because she sells these handmade clay miniature size dessert earrings. And I love foodie earrings. I don't think I leave the house without a pair on. Well, at her booth, I gravitated to a pair of cheesecake earrings. Yes, cheesecake earrings. Matter of fact, I have them right here in my hand. Now, at the bottom of the cake is a graham cracker crust. Then there's a strawberry sauce and one strawberry placed on the sauce with such detail of the green little cap that's attached to the strawberry. I love these earrings, and I plan to be one of her biggest customers, and you too can be one. Um, I will leave her information in the show notes. I love Wee's tip. The farmers don't have this problem, but some vendors do, not all, but some vendors do, that when you walk up to their booth, they don't really acknowledge you. Now, I don't know if it's because maybe they're selling other people's products, and so they're not as keen to uh, tell you about it. But I have run into artists and some vendors that do sell their own products, and they just stay seated in their chair. And this is this is a missed opportunity because you never know who you're can who you're going to be talking to, and you can really miss a really good sell. And I am so glad we start talking to me because now I am talking about her earrings on my show, and I'm going to take a picture of these so you so you can see how cute these are. So thank you, we, for that tip, and thank you for these cute little cheesecake earrings. Now, the background music you've been listening to is an artist by the name of Johnny McGowan. And I hope I pronounced his last name correctly. Uh, You can find him on Instagram at Johnny underscore plays underscore guitar. Definitely wanted to give you a shout out. And it was so great to have you in between um, the interviews. And um, definitely check him out. Sunset Valley Market is open every Saturday from 9 to 1 o'clock. They have a wide range of vendors and uh, farmers, live music, and a great kids area. So if you want to get the opportunity, definitely check out the Sunset Valley. 
So now we're moving on to another great farmer's market. Austin Chronicle actually voted the Mueller Farmer's Market to be one of the best farmer's market in Austin, Texas. And um, it is a pretty good farmer's market. It is open every Sunday from 10 to 2 p.m. and every Wednesday from 5 to 8. And I met a wonderful woman there. I got there a little late on Wednesday, but I met one woman who gave me, I think, was the best tip. So let's listen in. Please feel free to try them all. We use all organic wheat that's grown in Texas. It's fresh milk for us every week by Barton Springs. Uh, Organic olive oil, water, and salt. And then we ferment it for about a week. The everything, the millennial special, it's one of our best-selling flavors. I like it. Hi, my name is Jen. Um, I sell sourdough crackers at the Mueller Farmer's Market uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. So my farmer's market tip is that you can use your SNAP benefits to get double dollars on fruits and vegetables and dollar for dollar on bread, meat, cheese, anything else that's not fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. So SNAP benefits are the food stamp dollars that you get uh, with the Lone Star card in Texas. I know that other states have different names for their food stamp benefits, but um, you can just take your food stamp card to the farmer's market and cash it in for dollars that you can use to buy fresh fruits, vegetables, fresh breads, fresh meats, cheeses, anything at the farmer's market. I am at the Sourdough Project on Instagram and on Facebook. My name is Jen, and you are listening to Eatin' and Sippin' Locally. You're going to have to tell me if I'm talking too loud or too soft, or you got the level. Huh? Just talk. Yeah. Just check in, check in, check in. You're good? Cool. Okay, ready? Yep. Uh, my name is Bill Natalini, and uh, I started Wonder Pills Kombucha back in 2010, and now... We make a canned kombucha called Oye Kombucha, which is basically a traditional kombucha with the yeast stripped out so it won't go alcoholic in the can and lightly sweetened to make it more approachable than our, our kombucha on tap. Wonder Pills is a very sour, full-strength affair. Uh, we also do Hardy Vegan's Texas Tempe, which is a soy and a non-soy and a breakfast sausage uh, plant protein made by... Uh, using a mushroom spore to basically culture beans. You park cook beans, mix in the culture, and then you uh, incubate it for 24 hours, and the mycelia, the underground part of the mushroom, grows through the mushroom and breaks down some of the harder to digest parts of beans. And yeah, I think it's the meat of the future, basically. Uh, A tip for people to shop at the markets. I would encourage people to ask makers if they're using organic products. twofold so to kind of promote that conversation we should be having about what we're putting into our bodies and also challenging producers uh, to realize that people care about what's in the products that on both sides will make people care about how we treat the environment which is the bedrock of civilization bill you are right on target with those tips ask the maker and challenge them Mm. Become a smart consumer. Oh, man, I'm liking that. Now, you can find Bill at the Hope Market every Sunday from 11 to 3 on the east side of Austin, close to downtown. He is so passionate about his products, so stop by and sample his kombucha in the can. And hopefully, hopefully the day that you visit, he'll be serving up his Black Eyed Pea Tempeh sandwiches. Oh, my God. They are so good. I can do a show on his tempeh sandwiches and his canned kombucha. Wait, wait a minute, wait. I can do a show. I want to do a show on that. Hey, Bill, I know you're listening. Direct message me because uh, I like what you're doing. So come on the air and share your product knowledge with us, okay? Now we're moving on to the Buda's Farmer's Market. Now, Austin Chronicle may have voted the Mueller Market to be the best in Austin, But my favorite is the Buda Farmer's Market. Now, as you know, I work and play and do this show in Austin, but I live in Buda, so I'm at the market 
every other Sunday chit-chatting with my old friends and meeting new ones like Neil. Now, Neil bakes bread and has plenty of samples. Mm, yum, 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 yum. You know I love my samples. So uh, let's listen to some more great tips from my friends and uh, sample some of Neil's bread at the Buda Farmer's Market. Sticky bun. Caramel cinnamon pecan sticky bun. Okay. Ooh, you got a lot of samples in there. Oh, yeah. Reggiano garlic, Parmesan okay. cheese and garlic. Uh-huh. Chocolate peanut butter. Ooh, I chocolate. will cut you some of that. Oh, no. I, I'm allergic to chocolate. Okay. But I will love to try this one here. Squash pecan. Okay. Butternut squash with toasted pecan. Yes. Allergic <laughs> to chocolate is a very sad statement. Yeah. I've gotten uh, used I to hadn't it. heard of that one before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Where's um, this? You had a sticky one? Yeah, sticky bun. Right Let me here. try that one. Please do. Try as many as you want. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. So you make these yourself? I make them myself. I'm a one man bakery out of East Austin. Bake out of my own home, so it's truly homemade bread. Wow. Made, made, made by me, yours truly. I like that. <laughs> It's That's a really good. simple concept. Mm-hmm. Bake and sell, bake and sell, bake and sell. I've been seeing you out here. How long have you been this out here? This is my second week. So okay. Brand new, brand new. Okay. But I've been doing this for 20 years. So. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I've had lots, lots of practice. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, was nice. I was at Sunset Valley for a while oh, when I first got here to town. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I do a little show called Eating and Sipping Locally. <clears throat> okay. And um, last month I did a podcast show on tips about the farmer's market uh-huh. and it just seemed like to be a really good thing people are really don't know how to shop at the farmer's market right, right. so I'd ask Brenda and I have asked other people and I would love to ask you if you would just maybe give us some tips on the best way to shop at a farmer's market and just would you be interested in doing that um, yes or no it's, it's not yeah, a big thing I guess so I I hadn't really thought, given any thought to the question <laughs> of what, <laughs> of what, uh, how to, how to shop at a farm. Just one tip. Oh, did one you tip? notice that you see oh, that people okay, walk yeah. past and you notice that they just? Yeah. I mean, I would just, I would. Hold I on, would hold do, on. I'm I gonna, would, sh- I got a sheet. Okay. Like something like that. Yeah. The name of my business is is New Bread Rising, and I, I produce artisan bread out of my home. It's truly homemade bread been doing it for a living now for 20 years. I'm a one-man bakery. And uh, right now I'm, I'm at the farmer's market in Buda. I do this one, this market every Sunday. On Saturdays I do the Barton Creek Mall farmer's market in Austin. A tip I have for, for people shopping at the market is to just do a quick walk through, see what's there before you start testing everything. That way you can get a, a, a plan for a meal. My name is Neil Sauk, and you are listening to Eatin' and Sippin' Locally. Hi, my name is Laurel, and I sell granola at the Buda, Buda Farmer's Market. I make vegan organic granolas, most of which are gluten-free as well. And you can find me at laurelsfarmhousemarket.com. On Facebook, it's Laurel's Farmhouse. I sell every Sunday at the Buda Farmer's Market. I am at Wolf Ranch up in Georgetown, and often you can find me out in Kerrville and Bernie as well in Dripping Springs on Wednesdays. One tip I have for people on how to shop at farmer's markets is to come with an empty stomach and don't be afraid to grab a sample. I love giving people samples, even if they're not gonna buy. My name is Jordan Von Blon. I'm with River Bottom Farms, and we do pasture-raised beef and Produce. We do produce. All kinds of vegetables. Um, organic methods only. We're not OMRI certified, but we use organic methods. So between the beef and the produce, we're an organic method only and sustainable, sustainable minded. So we use those practices. Um, social media, you can find us at River Bottom Farms on Facebook and Instagram. And we are at the San Marcos Farmers Market and the New Braunfels Farmers Market on Saturday. If you follow us on our social media, you can find out when our market stand is open at the farm. And then Sundays we do Buda, Buda Market. One tip for people that I would say on how to shop at a farmer's market would be to plan your meals out. And if you can't figure them out all the way, don't be shy to ask the farmer because we raise the vegetables to feed ourselves as well as y'all. So 
come on down and talk to your farmer, especially with the meat. I mean, I practically make a, meal, a whole meal here uh, with my beef and my, my produce, so I can tell you how to how to make something up if you if you're ready to try new things we can we can tell you how to get new vegetables into your into your cuisine as well so that'd be my tip so my name is Misha and I'm Tosca and we are the owners and the roasters of Springtown, Springtown roasters, roasters freshly roasted coffee in San Marcos Texas we are here at the Buda farmers market in lovely beautiful Buda Texas on a beautiful day so one of my main tips for shopping the market is bring a bag and bring ice ice blocks because you don't want your beautiful veggies to wilt. So just go Texan and bring your ice block. One of my tips is to make sure you don't drink any coffee before you come to the farmer's market so you can get a really great cup of coffee. So here at the Buda Farmer's Market, I like to shop at um, the sprouts his name is righteous greens and those sprouts are amazing i put them on everything they're so good it's my favorite and and i love river bottom farms out of san marcos they do pasture raised beef and beautiful vegetables they're watered with san marcos river water and so i feel like i'm getting all the nutrients but we also do lots of buying from other vendors because we love a lot of the food, like the mushrooms and the cheese and the healthy gut foods. And the, the natural bee pollen and, and, and the fresh made foods, too. All right. My name is Misha. And I am Tosca. And you are listening to Eatin' and, and Sippin' Locally. Okay, my name is Ken Sepulveda. Uh, I'm with Righteous Greens. We make microgreens. We don't make them, we grow them. Uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, both are under our company name, Righteous Green. Uh, the farmer's markets we're at are on Saturday, Barton Creek Farmer's Market, and on Sunday at uh, Buta Farmer's Market. And then, uh, let's see, a tip to tell people that go to the farmer's market would be that... Um, Make sure that you always try out your, um, not only your local fruits and vegetables, but your local meats. Um, a lot of things people don't realize about meats that you buy in a grocery store. Um, the terms used like uh, pasture raised and all natural really don't have a lot of meaning. Uh, you can come out here and talk to some of these uh, people that raise cattle and you can talk to them personally and find out exactly how they raise their meat. So. Uh, big difference between how meat looks in the grocery store and how it looks out here. Hi, my name is Brenda Adamson. I'm the owner and grower at Goldenwood Mushrooms in Driftwood, Texas. We're just outside of Austin. Gourmet mushrooms, tons of oyster mushrooms, several varieties, chestnuts, pepinos, lion's mane is one of our specialties, and shiitakes. One tip that I would have on uh, how to shop at farmer's markets, you know, ask the farmers about their product but feel good that those farms have been inspected because that is one thing that we all do after we apply is we have people come to our farms they inspect our our uh, our farm our processes to make sure that we are producing the product that we're producing in the way we say we are so feel good about the products you're buying at the farmers markets you can find us on social media, on Instagram, Goldenwood Mushrooms Brenda. We're also on Facebook under Goldenwood Mushrooms. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Trace Weddle. I'm the owner of Happy Gut Foods. We are a clean and organic fermentation business out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Happy Gut Foods. We are in uh, four farmer's markets every week. We do here in downtown Buda. We do uh, New Braunfels on Saturdays. We do Kerrville on Fridays. And then we do one at the San Antonio at the Cory Market on Sundays, as well as here in Buda on Sundays. Uh, my biggest tip for shopping at the farmer's market would be bring bags and eat everything. Just try absolutely everything because you never know when you're going to find something that you fall in love with. I'm surprised all the time at the things that I fall in love with. Um, I shop everywhere in the market, off and on. I think I, we buy a little bit of everything. Um, and again, my name is Trace Weddle, and you are listening to Eatin' and Sippin' Locally. What a way to end. Bring bags and eat everything. 
<laughs> I don't bring a lot of bags, but I definitely eat everything. You have just listened to 13 great tips from the farmers and the vendors of the local market. Now, thank you all for sharing. All the tips were good, but I think my top three would be, um, one, plan your meals. I always think it's a wise thing to bring a grocery list. Uh, I also like to uh, bring small bills. That is something I'm definitely going to work on. I'm going to leave those large bills at home. The third one is my favorite. Make time to talk to the farmers and ask questions about their products. Also, uh, definitely find out about any recipes that they might have that they would like to share with you, which I think that's a really good tip as well. So this is why the local market is so special and so special to me. You never have this kind of one-on-one -on -one in a grocery store. The market has so much to offer. Walk around, enjoy the live music and the good food. Most markets have a kid area with activities, and so this makes a really great family outing. So get out and support your local farmer's market, okay? So what was your favorite tip? I really would like to know. You can always direct message me on Instagram because I'm always on Instagram. And if you have a tip that you would like to share, definitely let me know and I will put it on the air. Now you know, I cannot end this show without telling you about an app I discovered. Well, this month I downloaded two new apps and they both are based on the farmer's market. I wanted to find an app that would show me where all the farmer's markets were located. This is great, especially when I'm traveling. I love visiting other markets. So I downloaded two. Now the first one is called, oh uh, wait, yeah, I'm gonna grab my phone. Okay, the first one is called farmer's market. It's all one word. It has a windmill with a little blue truck on the cover of it so uh, when you press on that one or when I press on that one it will show me all the markets that are located uh, close by and some that are not so close by they have some that's located 16 miles away let's tap on one so let's tap on the hope farmers market because that's what we did today now it has uh, at the top that it has the Hope's Farmer's Market. It tells you that it is it runs from January to December from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It also gives me information about what is being sold at, that, at the Hope Market. It has the address. And then in blue, it says show on map. Now when you tap on that, it takes you directly to uh, directions. It gives you directions and tell you um, exactly where it's located. So I definitely like that a lot. Let's check, let's look at another one here. Let's press on the Buda market. Hmm. Now this one, it, it tells me that it is located downtown Buda, but it has no schedule provided. And it doesn't tell me about any of the products. And this one has not been updated because this is the wrong street. Well, it's not the wrong street, but it is the wrong address. So um, this app has not been updated, but if, and then but if I push, it will take me yeah it will take me to the O location, which is not good. So let me take a look here. As I go back, the only thing that I don't like about this app, I can't go in and add the correct address. You know how some apps allow you to add things. This one doesn't do that. So um, this app doesn't do much besides give you just a long list of farmers markets. So let's go to the next app and take a look at that one. Now the next app is called US Markets and it has like a, a shape like a sun but it's green. It reminds me of um, like a gas station logo. So let's click on that. Now this one immediately goes uh, to my location and it shows me a map of I-35 and the surrounding areas. It shows me um, Austin and Sunset Valley, West Lake. Now this one doesn't have one located in uh, Buda, but what I can do with this one is that I can go up to the top where there's a plus sign and if I push that it says press on map 
to add a new market. So I can literally press where I live and this little, let's do that, this little pen comes down and marks where my hand is pressing at. And then it brings up a little sign that says my location and I can just, let's see, I'll click on that and I can actually write the information about the farmer's market. That's pretty cool. That's what I like. Another thing that I really like about this app is that you can go to the little search button and um, you can press in other cities. So for instance, let's press uh, Houston. You just put Houston in here. Houston, Texas. And we go search and there it goes. It'll take me to a map of Houston and it shows me the different highways the tollways and all the farmers markets around there so I've got one two three four five six seven eight markets that I can actually discover in Houston and then let's check out another one here let's go back let's go back to Austin oh ooh, you know what I want to try let's see if it gives us farmers markets in different countries so you know in January, I went to Costa Rica. I'm gonna type that in and see if it would take us to Costa Rica. And it says location is not found. Please re-enter the information. Okay, well, um, I'm pretty sure I spelled it correctly. So let's just try it again. And again, it says location is not found. So this tells me that it actually doesn't do outside of, of the USA. So let's uh, go back then and let's look at, let's see, I'm from Detroit. So let's try Detroit, type in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. And again, I love this map that shows you the highways. It shows you if they have tolls and it gives you a nice range. It shows me Detroit, Dearborn, Southfield, Warren. Let's press on one of these and look at that. It pops up the Detroit Eastern Market. Oh man, I used to go to that market when I was a kid. Love that market. And once I click on it, it gives me the address, the schedule, and um, also it gives me the website. So I really like this app. It is pretty cool. It also gives you a, a view of a map showing you from above. Uh, the area that it's located in. That's pretty cool. Now they have this thing in the far right corner that says check in. Oh, it says, sorry, you're too far away from this farmer's market. Okay, so I'm assuming that I can check in if I'm in Austin, I can check in, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't know where um, it goes to that. I don't know if that tells other people. I'm not sure what the check-in is all about. But I really love this app. I think this is a really great one to download. It's called US Markets, and you know you'll find it in my short notes because I, I put everything there for you guys so you don't have to go searching um, for anything. All my all the information is right there that, we, that I talk about on the show. Uh, so the US Markets farmers app i'm going to give that four spoons because it is very easy to use it gives me different locations it tells me a lot about each market it even gives me the website to the market i also like that if i find a market like i did that they didn't have buta in there i uh, was able to put buta in there and i don't know if it's going to generate the website it doesn't do it at the moment but i'll go back and take a look but i do like the idea that i can add a market and help them keep the app fresh and updated. The other one, um, I, I'm going to give it two spoons because um, it didn't give as great information. It gave you a location, but you still don't not sure if it's there or not. I love the um, U.S. market because you're able to go to the website to get more information. So that is a real plus. I also like it that I can punch in Houston, um, Detroit. And it'll give me a map and show me exactly on the map where the highways that are close by. It shows um, uh, if there's tolls in the area 
you know, so it's a really great way to, um, it's easy to, to navigate. And I, so I really like it a lot. So I will definitely give the U.S. market four spoons and I'm going to give the farmer's market only two spoons. So those are my two apps. So definitely check them out. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you next month. Bye-bye. Connect with me through Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at Eden and Sippin' Locally. Love to see what you're posting and who you're following. And if you'd like to come on the show, check out my webpage at Eaton and Sipping, that's E-A-T-I-N, and Sipping, S-I-P-P-I-N, locally.com. Subscribe to the show on Apple iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, or wherever you download your podcast show at. And if you do download me, please rate the show and leave me a comment because I like to know what you're thinking. Well, until we meet again, keep it local. Music